we are in the car here today. Uh, something is wrong with my little interior light. When I go to on, it doesn't work. When I go to door, my door is open. It also doesn't work. So I thought the bulb was burned out at first. It might be. I checked it, it seemed okay. But let's uh, work on replacing it because I was able to source a new one. Look at that. Big contrast here. So I'd like to have a nice new light. <laughs> Here's the part number. I was able to get this at the local Mazda dealership. I ordered this as the interior light from like a 93 B2300 pickup truck. Um, when I first got handed this part after I went to go pick it up, holding it in my hand, I was like, holy crap, this light is huge. And I don't remember my light being like this big with this huge handle, but I guess I was wrong. That's what it looks like. All right, let's get to how to replacing this. First step, you gotta remove this cover. There's uh, these little pressure latches kind of, it's kind of just snaps into place. You can just pry on it. My fingers are delicate. So I'm just gonna use my little probe here. There we go. That will fall. This weird white dust will fall too and probably shouldn't be breathing that stuff. Oh, uh, duh, my bulb wasn't in here. Of course it wouldn't work. Uh, just, for, just for kicks, I'm gonna put this bulb in here and let's see if it works. I replaced the bulb. Still, no signs of life. I'm not sure why. I had my little handy dandy tester here and I used this. It was able to log 12 volts uh, a couple times through the contacts. I mean, it, it is getting power here. I'm just not sure why it's not working. Maybe these connectors here are corroded up top where the switch makes contact. They don't look particularly nice. So I'm just gonna pop this out and put the new light in and see how that goes. It is uh, it's two Phillips head screws and this whole light will drop out. It's just a plug. You can just grab the light and unplug it. It just comes out. Because my doors are open, I'm expecting to have 12 volts here. Uh, so I'm just gonna use this little voltage tester. I should expect the 12 volt light to light up. And it does. There's 12 volts there. I don't know if you can see it clearly on the screen, but let me try to wiggle this. There we go. 12 volts is present. I'm gonna plug in the new light and, oh look, it's backwards. So the plug needs to come over this way and try to do this, slides right in. Before I screw it back in, I'm just gonna test it. Look at how shiny those new contacts are. Surprise, surprise, it still doesn't work. Here's the light again. Um, I guess I needed the ground contact here. And then once I screwed this in, I have to finagle it in since this one plugs in on the right and the original one plugs in on the left. You kind of have to like finagle it in there, but it'll fit. Uh, once it fits, you can just screw it down, not too tight. Like you don't have to go crazy. It is just metal and plastic. Um, and this is in the off position. Let me put the cap back on. Uh, two, just do this. It snaps on. Yes, look at that. Okay. This side is off. The middle is door and the side is uh the left side is on so i'm gonna shut my door oh it's bright out there okay door is shut both sides put it to door nothing happens cool gonna open the door oops oh my light works awesome and this is off door is on, open so on works and then on is just on I can just shut the door and it would stay on See? and if I put it to the door it would turn off look at that this is fantastic I have an interior light again too bad I don't have carpet and a seat to go with it but don't worry about that so thanks for watching uh, you can order this new and like subscribe comment and I'll see you next time